Now you ask me if I think there's life on other planets? I personally think there probably is. I have no proof. There are a few hints in the Bible, though, that there probably is. But I know this. There are many other creatures in the universe that we read about in the scriptures. The angels. The seraphim. All the great things of scripture. And the Bible teaches that in that day, when he is crowned king of kings and lord of lords, in the great and magnificent coronation, It'll be a day of his joy. When he went to the cross to die for our sins, it was for the joy that was set before him. He saw in vision that glorious day when this world system will have come to an end and it will all have all been climaxed in that coronation of himself when all of those that he redeemed and saved will be with him. And the universe will marvel that he could take a sinner like you and me. A person that had rebelled against God. A person that had broken God's laws. A person that had lived for himself. A person that had disregarded God. A person that had done all sorts of things that were wrong. That God could take them and not only forgive them. But take them up, up, up beyond the angels and make them children of God and join heirs with Jesus Christ to reign with Him. The universe will gasp at the grace and the mercy and the glory of God and the universe will sing and they will chant their anthems of praise to the Lamb that was slain. What an hour that's going to be. What a hope there is. I tell you, when you die, that's not the end of it. That's only the beginning. And the pages of our newspapers today are black indeed. But that does not disturb the child of God that has been to the cross and had his sins washed in that blood. The universe will marvel at the salvation. And the Bible says the morning stars will sing together. The Bible indicates the angels will chant their songs of praise and adoration for him. A craftsman down here is always revealed by the thing that he produces and makes. And so Christ is going to be glorified because of us. And while we are here as Christians, living for him, we have to be conformed more and more into his image. That's called sanctification in the Bible. Growing more and more like Christ every day. Growing in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until we are becoming more like Him. Until we shall see Him face to face in a very brief time. It won't be long before everybody listening to my voice will be in eternity. Why if the end of the world doesn't come Today, by the climactic intervention of God on atomic bomb war, it's going to come for you soon anyway. Why, what's 50 years? Nothing. What's 10 years? Nothing. It'll all be over. As far as this world is concerned, you better be start thinking about the next world. And the Bible indicates that Christ will be the center of heaven. And in hell, wherever you look, you'll miss Christ. In heaven, all attention will be centered on Him, Jesus Christ. And I want to ask you today, have you received Him? Is He yours? The Bible says that this hope of His coming should cause us to watch. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. The Bible indicates that to us that know Him, it should purify us. And every man that hath this hope in Him purifieth himself. It should make us united as Christians, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. It should cause us to evangelize. Occupy till I come. Occupy with loving your neighbor. Occupy.
occupied. Don't sit down and say, the Lord's coming. I'm just going to sit here and wait for His coming. No. That's sin against God. That's displeasing to God. Go back to your school. Go back to your home. Go back to your church. Go back to your social obligations. And work as you've never worked. Occupy till I come. Go down among the people. Help the poor. Love your neighbor, no matter what race he may be. Give food for the hunger. Get involved in the world in which we're living as a light and a shining testimony for Christ. He is the salt of the earth. He is the light of the world. Live for Him. And this burning hope within you should make you live more intensely for Him than ever before. With far deeper commitment to Him than ever before. Occupy the last cup. But the question I ask you as I close is this. Do you know Him as your Lord and Master and Savior? Are you ready for that day? If you're not, I'm going to ask you to get ready today. Now the first step that you take is to receive it. That's not the end of it. Because then you begin to grow in Christ. But you must start somewhere. You must start someday, somewhere, at some moment in your life, when by faith you turn from your sins and receive Christ as Lord and Master. I'm going to ask you to do that today. There are hundreds of you here today that are not sure that you've received Him. You may be identified with some church. You might have been confirmed or baptized, but you'd like to renew that vow. You'd like to make it real. You'd like to make it a heart commitment to Him. You may not be identified with any church. You haven't really given your life to Christ, ever. I'm going to ask you to come. Give your life to Christ and identify yourself with the church. And live for it. And say, I'll burn my sinful bridges behind me. I'm going to change my way of living. I'm going to live for Christ. I want to be His, and I want to be ready for that day. And all of you that will do that, I'm going to ask you to get up out of your seats and come right now, down the aisle, nobody leaving, nobody moving, come down the aisle, quietly and reverently, and go downstairs. We don't have room for you in front, but just go downstairs, and after you come, we're going to give you a verse of Scripture, have a moment of prayer and give you some literature. Why do I ask you to come? Because this is an act of your will. You say, well, why do it publicly? When you get married, don't you do it publicly? Before witnesses? When Jesus called men like Matthew, Zacchaeus, he did publicly, they came publicly to receive him. He healed in public. You come and commit yourself to Christ and